welcome everyone to our first Selenium tutorial. In today's video, we will go over on how to write our first Selenium script to launch Chrome browser and navigate to any application. Before, let's take a look over a few points on what is Selenium WebDriver. Selenium WebDriver is an automation tool that is used for web application automation. So it means any application that is accessible over www can be automated using Selenium. Also, Selenium is an open source tool. What do we mean by the open source? It means it's free of use. Now, there's many other popular tools on the market that can be used for web automation. There's a Catalan Studio, there's a Cypress, there's a Protractor, there's a QTP. However, Selenium WebDriver is one of the most popular tools. Now, let's take a look why. Here we list out few advantages of the Selenium WebDriver. Number one, Selenium WebDriver supports many browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, Edge, and Opera. Second point, Selenium WebDriver supports different programming languages. You can write your scripts using Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, PHP, Python, Ruby, and many other languages. And another very important point, Selenium WebDriver is platform independent. It means our code can be used on different operating systems like Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Before we're going to proceed on writing our first Selenium script, I hope you guys install the Selenium and I hope you download respective drivers. Let me switch over to my Eclipse. So for this tutorials, what I created, I created one project and I named it as a Selenium Basics. Inside these projects, you guys will see four different things. So the first thing, what we'll be doing, we will be using our Java as a programming language to write our automation code. And in this tutorials, I'm using Java 1.8 version. Also in here, you guys will see our SRC folder, which stands for the source folders. Us as a programmers, what we'll be writing, we will be writing our source code, which will go inside this folder. Now in here, what you guys see, you also will see reference library. So here, any Selenium code that is being written is being packaged and it's being placed inside these jar files. And now all these jar files, they are stored under our reference library. And another folder that we guys have is drivers. If I'm going to expand it, here I'm going to see my Chrome driver and I'm going to see my Gecko driver. For our tutorials, we will be performing automation on Chrome browser and on our Firefox browser respectively. So let's start. This. So the first thing what I'm going to do, we're going to try to keep our code organized. We're going to create different packages to store our code. What are the packages? Packages simply just a folders. What, why do we need them? We need them to organize our code. So I'm going to create, I'm going to do right click. I'm going to click on you and I'm going to select package. So the universal way of naming the packages, we will be using reverse way of the URL. If you have google.com, the name of your package will be com.google. If you have syntax.com, the reverse way will be com.syntax. So this is how I'm going to name my package. So I'm going to name it com.syntax.com. And now the name of my folder, I'm going to name it as an intro. Intro. And I'm going to click on finish. Now, inside these packages, what we'll be storing, we will be storing our Java classes. So I'm going to do right click, new, and I'm going to create a class. 
So the classes in Java, the naming convention for Java always should be classes. The name of the classes always should start with the uppercase and then every other word will be following the camel casing. Why we will be using the camel casing? To improve the readability. So I'm going to give it a name. Chrome browser demo and I'm going to select my main method and I'm going to click on finish. Now the goal of this class that we created so what we would like to do we would like to launch our Chrome browser and we would like to navigate to our syntax page. In order for me to perform this task First, I will have to follow three steps, three steps. So the step number one, what I will need to do, I will have to set a system property. I will have to set a system property in which I will be specifying key and the value. So first I'm gonna type system so what is a system? System is our class. From this class, what I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call my method set property. And to set our property, make sure you guys select and set property, not properties. So in here, what I will have to pass, I will have to pass two string arguments. I will have to pass the key and I will have to pass the value. So the way our Selenium works. Let me see if I have this in the slides. So the way our Selenium works. So first, what we will be doing, we will be writing our code using any of these programming languages. And as I mentioned in our tutorials, what we are using, we're using Java language. Then we will be writing our code using Java language. Then using this code, we will be sending command to our drivers and respective driver will be sending command to its own browser. So now if we will have to write, if you want to launch our Chrome browser, so what we will have to do, we will have to set the properties of our Chrome driver. So the first line, what I'm going to specify is my key and make sure you guys type it exactly as it is. I'm going to specify that I will be using web driver and then of the web driver I will have to use Chrome driver. So here I'm specifying that I would like to use my Chrome driver for communication with my Chrome browser. Now as a value what we will have to pass, we will have to specify the location of our Chrome driver. We will have to specify the path to where our Chrome driver file is located. To find the location, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come inside my drivers folder. I'm going to select my Chrome driver and I'm going to do the right click. Once I do the right click, here's a different options will come to me. And what I'm going to select, I'm going to select properties. Once I select the properties in here, you guys will see location. Location, here what we see, we see the path to my file. Which file? Chrome driver. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy this. Now you guys can click on cancel. And what I'm going to place it, I'm going to place it inside the string. And what I will have to do, I will have to end my statement in Java. So in here, what we created first to launch my browser using to launch my Chrome browser and navigate to the specific website, I have to follow steps. Step number one, I will have to set up my property. So what I'm setting up, I'm telling that I will be needing to use Chrome driver. Now, in order for me to use the Chrome driver, what I will have to do I am specifying the path to my driver. So my driver is located inside users folder, it located inside syntax folder on my desktop, 
inside this tab I have this folder and here many many different folders I have and inside my drivers which is name of my folder what I have I have Chrome driver so now guys please keep an eye that I'm using my Mac so in Mac if you're using the Mac system you don't have to specify anything at the end of your Chrome driver so let me make a note in here use this path for Chrome for Mac right for Mac now if you're a Windows user if you're a Windows user the only thing what you will need to change is use this for Windows the only thing what you will need to change you guys will have exact the same line I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna place it in here the only differences you guys will change you will change in here you're gonna add that exe this is extension of your file when you're using your Windows system. I'm going to keep it in here so you guys can refer to it. Also, if you are using Windows, once you place the path for your file, you guys might either have your not forward slashes, maybe you're going to have a back slashes. So if you're going to change your slashes to, to single forward slashes, and you will add that exe extension and then your code will work fine okay so this is the first step now the second step what we will have to do we will have to create the object of the web driver type so now if you're going to look at the architecture of our selenium web driver our web driver is being an interface and we know that we cannot create the object of the interface directly so how we can create the object of the interface how we can create the object of the web driver type what we're gonna do we will create the object of the child class and give it a reference to our parent so our chrome driver is a class if we are a class we can create the object so to create the object what we're gonna do we're gonna use a new keyword and Chrome driver and we don't have to pass anything to our constructor now compiler gonna give you the arrow so now what we will have to do Chrome driver is a class that comes from different package and we will have to import it once you import it now who will be taking the reference of this object we're gonna assign it to the variable driver and this variable driver is of which type this variable will be of the web driver type this is our second step and now what we will have to do we will have to import our web driver as well so now both our web driver and the chrome they are coming from our selenium library now this is our second step what we created we create an object of web driver type web driver type now finally we are coming to our third step and our third step now using the reference variable that is referring to our chrome driver what we can do now we can navigate to any application three what we're going to specify navigate to and for our learning purposes we're just going to navigate to our syntax application so now we're going to take a variable that is referring to the object of the chrome driver i'm going to say driver and i'm going to call the method get now anytime you want to navigate to any website we will be using the method get this method get is defined inside your chrome driver class and if we want to use the method get what we will have to pass we will have to pass one string argument so in here what type of argument we're going to place now what we will have to type we will have to type the address of our application what is the address of our application is http 
https column two forward slashes syntax text dot com so this is our three steps that we need to launch our chrome browser and navigate to our syntax application now let's run it and let's see what's going to happen i'm going to do right click run as java application so in here what we see our chrome browser is opened and once our chrome browser is open where we navigate it we navigate it to the specified application thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial